Hello, my name is Tendai, and in this video, I'll be talking about three key ways to maximize your learning during Kaplan Online Lectures. The first key we're going to talk about is preparation. The best way to prepare for the class is to do some practice questions. The Kaplan practice questions will help you to give you an idea about the information that you know very well and the information you don't know very well. Once you do this, you're able to understand what do I want to gain when I go to the lecture, giving you a foundation of what you want to work on as you are getting ready for the live online lecture. These practice questions have to be specifically focused on the topics you are going to learn the next day. Therefore, if you're going to be doing general physiology and cardiophysiology the next day, you want to do Kaplan practice questions related to the general physiology and the cardiophysiology. This allows you to set that good foundation. You have to be aware that during basic sciences, we learned a lot of information. And like we said, you're going to have some information that you still know very well. You still want to make this learning process as active and engaging as possible. By doing this method, this allows you to do this. Therefore, you set a good foundation before going to the lecture. The second key we're going to talk about is going to be paying attention during live lecture. Now that you know the information and concepts that you want to work on, you want to make sure that you're going to be able to solidify those concepts as you go through the lecture. One important resource to have right next to you would be your first aid book. As you're going through the lecture, you want to annotate in your first aid book. You want to use this information to be able to have one solid resource as you start transitioning to a dedicated study time. This will be very helpful to have all the key concepts that you want to solidify in one place. The third key we're going to be talking about is practice. Yes. You're going to be doing more practice. You want to use this practice session now as a tool to add on a bit more review too. You're going to review the material that you learned for that day. Not all of it. However, the key aspects that you didn't understand going into the lecture to ensure that you solidified these concepts. As you do more practice questions, you want to do at least 45 to 60 practice questions a day. And this is how I recommend to split it up. You want to do 20 practice questions regarding the topic you learned for that day. You want to do 20 mixed practice questions. And then you want to do 20 practice questions regarding the material you're going to learn for the next day. Instead of doing 20 of each, which is going to be 60, you can do 15 of each, which will be 45. That's why I say the perfect range will be in between 45 to 60 practice questions a day. We have talked about the three key ways to maximize your learning. We have talked about preparation, we've talked about paying attention, and we've talked about practice. Now I'm going to talk about some supplemental resources that you can use during online live lecture. Resources like Sketchy Medical, Boards and Beyond, and Pathoma. As you're doing the online live lecture, if these are resources you like to use, my suggestion would be to use them as you're focusing on the key topics that you want to work on. It's important to realize that you have a limited time. You want to spend as much time as you can on practice resources. You want to make sure that you're giving yourself an opportunity to have active learning. I will end this video with some encouraging words. I understand that this is a stressful time for you. However, you have to have the goal in mind. This is a long journey and every journey starts with small steps. As you're progressing through basic sciences, you've been taking these small steps and getting closer and closer 
to your end goal. This is an achievement to be at this point in your life to get prepared for your board exams. There have been many other people who have walked the same path that you're on today. If they could do it, you can do it too. On that note, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the Med Tutors YouTube channel. There will be more step one preparation videos coming your way soon. If you have any questions or concerns regarding how you would like to make some adjustments to your studying, don't hesitate to contact us on the Med Tutors email that's going to be located in the descriptions. Once again, all the best and happy studying.